Hello, I'm C.I. Becker and today I'm going to be going over some uniform maintenance um, for braids, dress uniform, and in combats, um, or field training uniform. So first thing we're going to go through is how to properly form your beret. So currently, it looks awful. It looks like a chef's hat. It does not look like we want it to. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of these pesky ties. So these, we just need a, tooth, a um, pair of chopsticks to slip the cord into a little extra pouch there. So I've already gone ahead and done one, but we're just going to put the second one in just to show you guys how that is done. And then that way you don't have to worry about um, those ties flopping out and showing while you're in your dress uniform. So you're just going to go ahead. just keep going until all of that is through. Okay, so I've just skipped ahead a little bit. We're just getting the last piece of that tie tucked away. See? So now when you look at your braid, there are no pesky strings hanging out. So now you're going to want to go ahead and get your beret wet. So this one is made of wool, so the way to properly stretch it and form it is to get it really, really, really wet hot water and then let it dry on your head. And then that way the wool will expand, you can stretch it, fit it how you want, and then let it dry on your head and it'll shrink back and it'll stay in that position. So we're just going to get the spray nice and wet. So you want to run the water as hot as you can without burning yourself to get that wool to stretch and expand. Now we're going to Just go ahead and get the whole thing, the whole thing wet. thoroughly soft, we're just going to wring it out a little bit so that we don't have a puddle on our head. Okay, so now that our braid is nice and wet and we're going to put it on our head to dry. So the first thing you want to do is find your cat, um, cat badge or your cat brass. Take your left hand, put your left hand over top of that. So that's going to go over top of your left eye. Then take your other hand and you're going to put it on, on your head. So on your head, there's a little bump at the back. You don't want to go below that or it's not going to form properly. So females, you have your hair up in a bun, it makes it much easier. Males, just feel for that bumpy spot on your head. So now my left eye, left badge, I've got two fingers between my eyebrow and the bottom of my beret. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this extra fabric that's just awkwardly sitting here and I'm going to pull it all the way over and down over my right ear. So I'm going to go back, make sure that cat badge stays in the right position, make sure your braid is sitting nice on your head, and you're just going to keep pulling at this braid until it forms in a nice, nice shape like that. So now we're going to let it dry on my head so it'll shrink to the size of my head and it'll be much easier to keep it looking like this every night when we go to cats. So you can see how it pulled down over my right ear, tucked just above that bony spot or just above my bun, two fingers width between my eyebrows and the bottom of my brain, and my left hand and my left eye. Cat badge is right above. <laughs> 